Well, hello there. Welcome to the Shabby Rose. It has been a hot minute since I have put gel on my hands. Oh, look at that. It's a Canadian candy. Yes, Coco and Claire is from Canada. They have excellent products. I have had my eye on using Coco and Claire for many years since I have seen some of my favorite YouTubers that do nails use this line. And the bottles are gorgeous. The rose gold and the bottles are just absolutely stunning. And so I have been curious about using Coco and Clay. That was the shine. This one is Berry Brick in 276. Very beautiful creme color. It, it, it looks very creamy. And then the next one is Pink Shoes. And this one has a, it's almost like um, a satin finish with it, with just little flecks of glitter. Very fine. This is a curing lamp, and this is such a space saver. I really like the style of this lamp. There are some that have the power button on top or on the side. This one has it right on the base as you can see the power button is like right there perfect for when you want to do a nail extension with gel you hold the nail extension on in place and then hit the power button and the power button goes for i believe 60 seconds do it twice and you have twice that amount of time ha 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 awesome comes with a cord doesn't come with a box i had to use my cell phone box Someday, I hope companies can include a power box because you get all these cords, no power boxes. <laughs> and it's like, where's a box? I need a box. <laughs> so this is not a multi-directional cord. It's a one-way cord, but it lights up. And I have found out it's a quite a little powerhouse. I like it. These are my nails. This is a test to see if my hands break out using gel. I have had a horrible time with gel making my hands break out and have reactions. So this is a big step for me. I am scared stiff. I've had this kit on my desk for nearly three weeks and I am Finally, I tested it this past weekend as I filmed. This was like Saturday night going into Sunday and I decided why not? I want to have nice nails for Sunday and church. So here is the residue remover that they included. I believe it's like an acetone, but it doesn't smell bad. It actually is really nice. And then that one is the base, the weekend base. They have different stages to the Coco and Claire. I got stages three and five with the base and the shine. I didn't get their, their um, other steps. These are the ones I got. And maybe, you know, I should get the other steps as well, but that's in time. As the budget allows, this is what I chose to get. These four bottles and the lamp. And I think it'll work. Hopefully, it will work. <laughs> I love the beads that they put on top of the bottles to determine which one's base and which one's shine. Here I am putting on a thin coat of base. I did not scuff my nails. I did not. I should have. I really, really should have. I was very blessed with my thumbnail because that one did not come off. The rest of them did because I did not scuff them. I was very much afraid of touching the skin, ripping the skin, or giving an abrasion to the skin, a rug burn, and then using gel and having a reaction all over again. <sighs> yes, I was, it was my own fault, user error. And so. Now I'm looking back at all the mistakes I did in the past with gel 
I, it was, it was pretty stupid to use an e-file and chew up the skin and then doing gel and curing it. That's a big no-no. You must let the skin heal if you chew it up with an e-file. And I didn't do that. I could have worn protective wrappings around my hands, like Maniology has those protective um, skin and cuticle wraps. I could have used them, but I didn't. And it was just terrible. Here, I it's a darker color. Um, berry Brick is a dark color, so you need twice the amount of time with your lamp with dark colors. And I wiped it too soon, and it caused that bubble to happen. <laughs> you live and learn. <laughs> you do. And so it just needs a little bit more time under the lamp. That's what that is about. So if you have that, just put a light, thin layer over it. It will self-level. There might be a little bump in it, but you know what? This is first time to try them, right? We'll keep on using these products because I really like them. After I have scuffed my nails and after I've tried it again, they have stayed on. And we're going to keep on seeing how long these, these nails last. We're going to see how long the gel lasts. So there it is. It's a beautiful red brick color. I like it. It's like a mauvey red. It, it would go with anything. It really does. And it's creamy. Look at that opaqueness in one swipe. I am very slow when it comes to doing my right hand and painting with my left. <laughs> I'm like a child with a coloring book trying to get that hand looking nice. It's... I have improved since my first YouTube video showing my nail polish expertise. It, oh my goodness, that first video, my hands did look like a child painted them. And here they are, the first set of nails. And it was a lot of fun seeing them, the shine. Usually I can tell immediately if my hands are going to break out. They did not. They felt good. There was no itching at all. And I am so the excited next about that. The next day, here's the peeling. <laughs> oh, Sunday, I was in here while getting ready, redoing my nails. Yes. So here I am learning. Monday morning, early in the morning, after my husband went to work, I think it's like two, three o'clock in the morning. Here I am doing my nails, seeing if I can get these things to stick. I did not use my electric file. I think, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I think I'm just going <laughs> to, you know what these would be good for? Those peelies, they would be good as patterns for nail wraps. That's what they would be good for. You lay them over your nail wrap, you cut them out, and there you go. Your nail wraps would have like a pattern to go with them. That's an idea, isn't it? So, I decided to go very thin coats. I think I did like four thin coats. I did not show all the curing in between all those coats. Gel is time consuming. It really is. I got impatient and I did thicker coats and it caused it to have a harder cure time because the light wouldn't penetrate throughout the thickness of the paint. So I learned thin coats, multiple thin coats. And this one's the Lantern and Worn 144 color, that purple. That's on that one, that dark color. Then I went into the Coco and Claire on my hands. I just wanted to see if the Lantern and Worn color would cause my hands to break out as well. And I think it's fine. So that is the complete set. The next day. Well, I said I would give you a 24 hour update on my nails to see if I had had any reactions to the Coco and Claire gel collection or the Lantern and Wern collection that I used in my video. And I have not had any reactions at all to these products.
I am so excited for these gels. Coco and Claire, and then the Lantern and Worn collection right here. This one is the base, and then this one's the color. The problem with what I had with my hands was a lot of user error. I think that's what I've come down to realize. You don't really need to use for a home use trick file, and every board will do just as well. <laughs> that's what I am finding. To break the skin around your hand and then put gel on and then cure, you're just asking for troubles to happen to your hands with gel. And it has taken over a year to get my hands back to where they are not having the eczema or the reactions or anything like that with my hands. And that took a long time. Uh, the itching and just the embarrassment alone of having your hands look so terrible for such a long time, it was just like, okay, what do I do? And having hydrocortisone in my purse and trying to find ways of getting the itching to stop, that was a big help. I'm very grateful to the YouTuber that brought that out, that hydrocortisone helps with the itching and to just stop with all chemicals on the hands for a very long time. So, in every board, you scuff the nail and that's all you need. Just an abrasive um, nail bed, just to make things stick. Just a little bit, that's all. And it will, it will stick. I didn't do that the first round with the gel. I was like, I don't want to even touch the skin. I don't want anything to happen. And I got peelies. <laughs> it peeled. <laughs> These little things, you know, they just, you have to have some type of a rough surface for paint to stick to. That's with any type of paint. So, an emery board. I probably will not be using my e-file again. And I think that's just, I'm not that good at it. And I'm just going to let um, my nails and my natural bed, nail bed to just grow and do what it needs to and try and be as natural as possible with the gels. This will help with, put, you know, just getting the skin back, but just pr pushing back this part and cleaning out the edges a little bit, keeping that clean, free of skin away from the nail, your gel will last longer just doing that. And then just taking the nail file and getting in and around the edges just lightly scuffing it um, will help the gel to stay. So I have had no problems. There is no itching. There is absolutely no problems with these. So I'm excited to have that 24 hours. Usually I will know right away if a gel has a problem with my hands. I, I had press on nails when I had put gel on the press-on nails. I applied them to my hands with just sticky, two-sided sticky tape that they give with press-on nails. And my hands couldn't even handle that a year ago. Just that much, 15 minutes or less, and they were broken out. So if you're having problems with gel reactions, I would say give it time. Let your skin heal, uh, baby your hands, lots of different oils, lotions, hydrocortisone, and then once they're healed, don't break the skin. Don't rough up the skin around the edges, lightly scuff the nail bed, and if you're inclined to try gel again, find something that is like water-based or where this removes with water. That's how gentle it is. You put it in warm water and you just peel the sides and it should come off in warm water. Coco and Claire has their mission is to keep the nail bed as natural as possible with as little chemicals as possible. And that is amazing. I like that. So 
I got these through Clear Jelly Stamper. They are a Canadian based company and it takes a little bit of time for it to come, but it was fine. Lantern and Wern, this, this company right here, is located in Texas. They also have um, a few Coco and Claire products on their website and it might come closer, it might come faster if you're in the USA and you know if gel isn't your jam anymore nail polish that is the best way to use your hands I absolutely love the wet and wild ones because they dry fast they really do and they last especially with their clear coat so this one is wet and wild fast drive fast dry one I like that one that's what made me fall in love with doing my nails was this nail polish set when they first came out these were like a dollar and change now they're like four dollars almost five I was like everything is going up I hate it I hate it I hate how everything has just exponentially exploded in price it's terrible but you know you try and find the best deals you can so that's it's really exciting to find these products that I can go back with gel the reason why I miss gel so much was because when you do nail stamping like this if you make a mistake and you go to wipe off the design with nail polish you lose your base color and you have to like practically throw that nail away and start all over again and it is time consuming to just have to throw away all your wonderful work away after you've done it and with gel if you make a mistake, you wipe off the nail polish design and your base stays. It's a big time saver. It really is. So I've missed working with gel. Now it's just collecting colors gradually. <laughs> You'll probably see a lot of <laughs> red, <laughs> light pink, and purple in many of my designs along with all the other nail polishes. So I've also found out that Sally Hansen's InstaDry, this one in gold, Go for Gold 153, is an excellent gold stamping polish. It it did an excellent outlining. See that gold on the design? That was some of this on that design. I also liked the Bring on the Bubbly from Clear Jelly Stamper. And that is 150. That's a beautiful metallic um, outline. That just absolutely wonderful. I like this design. The plates that I used for these nails right here was Paisley Princess. I did a short on YouTube with that, and that's gorgeous. I love the layering. I like to layer their designs to make them more intricate and more beautiful. So, this little nail light right here, limited space right here, my desk is tiny. And so to have a tiny little lamp that does one nail at a time, when you have your nail press-ons nails here, you can hold your nail in place, click it with your finger, and you can have your um, ex nail extensions just gelled on. I don't know all the technical terms. I do this at home. <laughs> so, ah, breaking things here. So, saving money by doing your nails at home is an adventure. It can come with risks if you're willing to take those risks to have time to save on your hands. I, I saw a sign for doing your nails. And it's almost $100 to do your toes and hands now. 
pedicure and manicure. Almost a hundred dollars. <sighs> That's a chunk of change to do every few weeks. That's insane. Plus hair color on top of that, doing your hair, doing your nails. It's not the 50s anymore where women just, you know, go out and we can spend like that. Plus the groceries, plus the utilities, plus the bills, plus everything else that life throws at us. Um, medical expenses, child care, uh, auto insurance. <laughs> Adulting is hard. <laughs> it's so expensive. And anywhere where you can save a couple of dollars, I mean, I have a lot of nail sets I can do with what I've gotten with the gel polishes for less than 50 bucks. The lantern, the lamp was included, the base, the clear, and the color. I mean, you get a few 30% off coupons, and they also have on sale, some products on sale in the cocoa and clear. You go to the sale section. And then you put that 30% on top of that, you can get some pretty good deals. So that's what I did. So if you can do nail polish, um, a couple of nail plates for maniology or clear jelly stamper, or there are so many other um, companies out there that are doing nail plates. I, those aren't the only two companies. There's a lot. Even Amazon has nail plates, but you know, make sure that they're etched pretty good to where you don't lose your designs. So I'm excited about this. I really am. Thank you for being here with me, taking your time to watch. And if you want to subscribe and like the video, it really does help with the algorithm. That way more can be recommended to you. And hopefully there will be more content coming out in the future. I am sporadic with my uploads. I will admit that right now. I am not always consistent with uploading. Life, there is a lot on my plate and I upload when I can. I've been trying really hard to be more consistent so that things will be recommended. And then after this, I like doing makeup. I like doing nails. That's what this channel is about. I have many other interests besides that and I try to contain all my interests to just those two <laughs> because there's so many things that are enjoyable I and mean, it's not just makeup and nails oh my interests there's a lot of them um so we'll d deep dive into that if you have any questions or you want to get to know me more you can leave comments down below and have questions about Coco and Claire, or Lantern and Warren, or where to find the products, I'll have them linked in the description box. Other than that, I think that's it. Thank you again for watching. Have a great day.